and now I'm going to pour some water into the glass slowly and whenever water reaches the both jumper wires the blue LED must turn on In this video we're going to build a water sensor on breadboard For this project what we need is a breadboard some jumper wires PC547 MPN transistor, 1 LED, 1 kilo ohm and 4.7 kilo ohm resistors, and I'm gonna power the circuit via 9 volt power supply. So let's begin. First of all, I'm going to connect the transistor to the breadboard BC547 with emitter, base, and collector. And the first thing we need to do is to connect the emitter of the transistor to ground by this jumper wire it goes over here perfect now we are going to connect the LED the cathode of the LED which is the shorter lead to the collector of the transistor and the anode of the LED we are going to connect it to the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and the other end of the resistor goes to positive rail of breadboard next we are going to connect the 1 kilo ohm resistor our base resistor to the base of the transistor and to a blank spot on breadboard now we are done with the components and let's connect the our testing jumper wires which I'm going to use a long one so one of them goes to the positive rail of the breadboard and the other jumper wire I'm going to connect it to the resistor <coughs> I'm sorry to the resistor which is connected to the base of the transistor like this and the other two ends of the jumper wires will be inserted inside of the glass Let's insert the jumper wires into the glass The blue one which is coming from the positive rail of the breadboard And the yellow one from the base of the transistor We are done with the setup of the project Actually I have replaced the white jumper wire with the yellow one since it's a little bit longer Let's connect our power supply to the breadboard 9 volts coming through the circuit the blue LED must not turn on yet perfect and now I'm going to pour some water into the glass slowly and whenever water reaches the both jumper wires the blue LED must turn on so let's have a look into the glass both jumper wires are touching the water and the LED is turning on when I remove one of the jumper wires as you can see the blue jumper wire is out of the glass and the LED is off so now let's see how the circuit works so basically when we insert the wires into water and pour more water the liquid creates a conductive path between the two jumper wires this allows a small current to flow from the positive rail of the breadboard through the, through the water and into the base of the transistor. This current which is flowing through the base of the transistor is then going to be limited by our base resistor which is 1 kilo ohm. Then the next step would be the transistor activation. This current is going to turn on the transistor and as a result current would flow from the collector of the transistor to the emitter which then is going to turn on our LED and the collector resistor would limit the current across the LED so that our, our LED would not get any damage so that was the whole idea with the project the water sensor project if you enjoyed the video please like it and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks and have a good day